Good morning, Captain Matt had retired here with another one of my short videos. Uh, I was uh, out for a walk with a dog, and I had this thought about unlimited liability. And the idea of unlimited liability, for those that don't know, is that a soldier faces unlimited liability when they serve because they can be asked to give up their life. Their life can be put at risk, their health can be put at risk. Well, the government, if it asks for unlimited liability from the soldier, wants to limit its liability by having clawbacks and other features of alleged benefits where they put, say, uh, mandatory rehabilitation <coughs> as a condition of benefits. What that is is an intrusion upon the veteran's right to do whatever the hell they want. And why they do that is to limit their liability in that they'll have to pay less if the veteran doesn't cooperate and if the veteran doesn't do the rehabilitation, then the government stops paying it. Now the veteran was put into risk by the government following orders and they were subordinate to the government's will. As a veteran, however, they should not be subject to the whim of the government who doesn't want to pay. Now I'll link that to the minister's recent comments where he stated that the government has to defend itself when it's sued. If the government is sued and the government is wrong, the government does not have a duty to defend. It has a duty to sell. In fact, I would say the government is creating these problems. <laughs> If, if the government creates a problem, it can't then say that it has to fight against people who dispute the case in court, because that would be, frankly, undemocratic.